Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the OnePlus Pro. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is uh, to make the phone a bit faster. So the CPU is very fast, but uh, because of these little animations here, uh, if you open apps, um, it feels slower. No? It zooms out, it zooms in. Can you see this animation? No? For us it is normal because every phone has this uh, little animation here. If it zooms out, zooms in. Let me show you exactly what I mean if I remove these animations. So for that, scroll down right next to the camera, scroll down right next to the camera. And then you will have here always the symbol for the settings. Tap on it. Then you need to scroll down to the point, system settings. And here you will find the point accessibility. So on top of it, you will have here now general vision, hearing and so on. Go on the point vision. And now you have the point here, remove animations. Okay, now let me show you the differences here with the Play Store map. It's immediately there, immediately gone. Also the phone, immediately there, immediately gone. As well also with other apps. Now this Chrome is immediately there, immediately gone. Let me now enable these animations again. So if I disable remove animation, and now you can see, how slow is that right now? If you see the differences, you know, now I can see that a bit. And um, no. if I turn it on, look how fast it feels right now. Okay, and you can boost the phone also a bit uh, with the RAM boost. Uh, so that the phone is learning a bit about your usage and um, give some system capacities. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So the software is very helpful for that. Just scroll down also right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. Then we will need to point again, system settings. And if we scroll down a bit, we will have here this point, one boost. And I recommend to you to enable it. and makes your phone faster as well. The system is learning, as I said, about your usage. And then um, the phone will add a bit more power for the performance in some cases. And you have some more cool features uh, here if the phone is on standby, no? if you have the off screen, just write the O maybe and you will open immediately the camera with that. And uh, also maybe if you write on the standby screen or on the off screen uh, a V, you will on the flashlight and you can turn it off also as well with that. So pretty cool, but don't uh, worry if it doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable this feature first. Let me show you what I mean. For that, just scroll down your right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. And again, we will need here the point system settings. You see there are many nice things in it. Uh, one of them is here gestures and motions. At the first point here, uh, you will have uh, the chance to have some screen off gestures as we have seen. You have to enable here the O for uh, open the camera pretty fast and the V for turning on the torch pretty fast. And if you want, you have some more options here. Uh, you can do so much more gestures. Maybe if you want to uh, draw an M, um, you can select also some, well, you have some instructions here, got it. Uh, you have also some opportunities. Um, Actually, it's uh, to launch the Play Store, but you can, if you tap again here, uh, to do some more stuff, may, uh, if you want to unlock the phone, if you want to call a, sp a special person, maybe, or you can open an app here. And uh, let's open maybe the messages, just as an example. No? And that means if my phone is here um, on standby, and if I write an M on it, M after, um, uh, giving my screen code here um, directly at the messages. So a pretty cool feature. And the next feature I want to show you is to save energy. And uh, there is a time uh, you don't need your smartphone if you are sleeping. And uh, it's good to turn the smartphone off during this time. And uh, yeah, sometimes maybe you forget it, but the phone can do that for you automatically. Let me show you what I mean. Just scroll down right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. Scroll down, I think you know this already, to the point system settings. And here we will have the point chat tool power on off. You can set up the time for the auto power off. Uh, enable like this and here you can set up the time you want to have. No? And uh, go on the checkbox after here. And also if the phone is turning off and you need your phone, no? 
later again you can just turn it on like this uh, it works as well now it's just a reminder okay uh, that the phone will shut down by its own and that saves a lot of energy no? and it gives you also a better sleep by the way uh, because there are not so many disturbing notifications and messages okay and the same thing you can do also with the power on time uh, just set it up here maybe five minutes before you get up or you should get up uh, the phone will turn on automatically and uh, yeah, during this time you save a lot of energy so pretty cool the next one I want to show you is uh, a bit more about the refresh rate. Uh, so let's enter it. So just scroll down here and then go to the symbol for the settings. Look for the point display and brightness. And then we have here the point. <laughs> Screen refresh rate. Actually it's on high. That means on 120 hertz. Um, but the standard is 60 hertz. And to be honest, the standard is always the same with all the other smartphones, also uh, the previous smartphones, uh, was 60 hertz. And that was enough, to be honest. Ne? So for the basic stuff like the messages and so on, you don't need so much more. Just if you want to um, uh, uh, play some games, it is uh, good. Or if you have to scroll many and so on, then a higher, uh, higher refreshing rate is good. But it takes a lot of energy. So on that's... Uh, um, uh, yeah, that's uh, the reason why I would recommend to you to put it on standard uh, if you read text and articles and so on. It's absolutely okay to put it on standard and that saves a lot of energy. Okay, let me show you also some more stuff for your eyes uh, because I, want, I would recommend to you to increase the text size because the screen is very large and so on and uh, yeah, it's good for your eyes. Uh, for that, just scroll on right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings, and now we will need this point here, personal, personalization, and um, first of all you have to agree and continue and so on, allow some stuff, and if you scroll down now a bit, you have here this point, font and display size, and um, yeah, first of all you can check out which, uh, which type of font you want, um, if you scroll down here a bit on the, on the lower side, you will have now the chance uh, to change the text size as well to the display size. No? I would recommend to do to increase the display size generally because then everything becomes a bit bigger, not only the font size, so the whole thing. And um, that's enough usually. No? Go on apply and everything is a bit bigger right now because it affects also here the notifications, uh, the preview for the notifications. And if you enlarge text too much, you cannot have really a real preview for that. And uh, some more stuff for the eyes um, to reduce the stress, because we are all looking too often on our smartphone screens. Uh, I think you know what I mean. And um, you should enable a blue light filter. For that, just scroll on your right next to the camera, scroll down again here in the shortcuts, because then you have much more options here. And one of it is here the eye comfort. If you enable it, you will see that the screen turns into a yellow touch. Yeah? And that um, gives your eyes uh, less stress. Now, if you tap it, by the way, uh, on your phone for the very first time, it's asking you if you want to chat to it or if you want to have it always on. Um, always on is the best option, no? but you should chat to it as well if you just want to have it in the evening hours. I will come later to that point. Um, I would recommend to you first, um, if you long press the eye comfort symbol, no, the eye, just long press it and then you are here at some more settings. And one of the important settings is here, the screen color temperature, because as more warm it is, as better it is. <laughs> I'm honest, this looks very unusual at the beginning, but as warmer the screen color is, as better it is for your eyes. And if you say, okay, I don't want to have it on the day, you should really have it at latest in the evening because it affects also your sleep. Huh? For that, you can chat to it here and you can customize here a time, huh? a turn on time and a turn off time and the phone will turn it on automatically, automatically and turn it off automatically as well, okay, pretty important. Just go on save after and it's part of your settings. And uh, there's another feature which one supports this uh, night feature here 
for your eyes because the screen is pretty bright uh, in the evening hours if everything is dark around you and you can darken it. Um, if you just scroll on here again, scroll on here again in the shortcuts and there's a second page here by the way where you will find some more shortcuts and uh, one of it is the dark mode. And um, if we enable it, many things turns into a darker mode and that relax your eyes also because the bright screen, whew, I think you know what I mean, is uh, in the evening hours not that comfortable. And uh, what I would recommend to you also is uh, because uh, the dark mode uh, is nice in the evening but during the day you cannot read something well on the screen uh, because if there's a lot of sunlight it is not that comfortable. So I would recommend to you to have it only in the evening hours. So for that just long press the dark mode to have it automatically and go here on auto switch and if you turn it on you should it uh, set it up from sunset to sunrise. So if the sun sets um, the dark mode will turn on and if the sun rises the dark mode will turn off automatically. Okay and we are already at the end uh, and there's a very nice feature uh, because there's a quick launch. This only works if you have enabled already the fingerprint sensor. So the one uh, to unlock the screen like this. No? So, And uh, if you're having the fingerprint sensor, you can have some quick start uh, uh, features there. Let me show you what I mean. For that, just scroll down right next to the camera. Go to the same before the settings. Huh? Then we will need now the point special features. Here it is. And this first point here, quick launch. And uh, if you enable this quick launch here, you will have now, if you long press the fingerprint sensor, as we seen, have seen here in the little animation, if you long press the fingerprint sensor, you will have um, some more opportunities. No? Um, you can open new uh, nodes and so on, or you can um, edit uh, here. Uh, also, some other, some other options. May if you want to have a function to open a special feature, you like the portrait mode uh, directly for the camera, or if you want to have some apps here at the sides. Maybe if you want to use uh, WhatsApp here, maybe on this side and on the other side, maybe YouTube. Uh, just go in the checkbox to confirm it, and uh, this is how it looks like then later. So let me show you how you can use that. So if your phone is on standby and you want to unlock your phone and you want to go directly to WhatsApp, just long press it and move your finger to WhatsApp and I'm directly in WhatsApp. The same thing also if my phone is on standby, I want to see YouTube, I just go directly like this and I'm in YouTube. So it is extend a bit also the off screen gestures what we have seen before. So also a cool feature. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and uh, show you a good uh, setup for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me also a nice comment, maybe with your favorite feature and so on, or give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and uh, yeah, I've created also some other videos, by the way, if you're interested in, or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And um, yeah, maybe at the next time. <laughs> Ciao.